Question number 111. The component of phloem which is absent in most of the monocotyledons. So first of all you have to find out the component of phloem which is absent in monocots is it is the phloem parenchyma. And this phloem parenchyma it is found in both primary and the secondary phloem. It is true. It is oval in shape. No, it is cylindrical in shape. It has dense cytoplasm but no nucleus. Phloem parenchyma is living and it has a nucleus. So this is wrong. Has non-cellulosic cell walls. No, it has cellulosic cell walls. So the correct option for the given question is option number 1. Let's move to the next question. Question number 112. The most common type of asexual spores produced in algae are so, the most common type of asexual spores are the planospores or the motile spores and they are zoospores. So, zoospores are motile, hence called planospores. So, option number one is wrong. Produced endogeneously, yes, zoospores are produced inside the zoosporangium. So, this is correct. They are motile in a red algae. No, they are not found in any member of the red algae as red algae lack the motile stages. Fourth one, they are called meospores as these produced by meiotic division. No, they are called mitospores as they are produced by mitotic division. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question. Question number 113, which of the following pairs is wrongly matched? Funaria, it's a bryophyte, it's a moss, it is homosporous, it is true. Cycus, a gymnosperm, it's a dioecious. It is also true because dioecious means when you have both the sex organs on the different or the separate plant bodies as you can see in the cycus also. So it is correct. Salaginella heterosporous. Yes, Salaginella produces two types of spores. It is heterosporous. It's a tetrophyte. Fourth, Marchantia, free living sporophyte. No, in Marchantia, Free living sporophyte is not present because it is a bryophyte. In bryophytes, the sporophytes are dependent on the gametophytes. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 4. Let's move to the next question. Question number 114. Tetophytes, they differ from the gymnosperms in being tracheophytes. What are tracheophytes? Tracheophytes are those plants which have vascular tissues. So, bryo and gymno both are tracheophytes. It's a similarity between them, not the difference. So, this is incorrect option. Having sporophyte as main dominant body, both of them have sporophyte as the main plant body. Again, it's a similarity. Third one, having independent gametophytic bodies. It is true that the tetophytes, they have independent gametophytic bodies. But in gymnosperms, there is no existence of independent gametophytic bodies. So, this is the correct difference. Fourth one, being archegoniates, both have archegonia. So, this is also a similarity, not the difference. So, the correct option for the given question is option number three. Let's move to the next question. Question number 115, mark true or false for the following statements and select the correct option. Statement A, the sporophyte in polytrichum is more developed than rixia. It is true because polytrichum, it's a moss and rixia, it's a liverwort. So, in mosses, the sporophyte is more developed than that of liverworts. So, this is true. B, in angiosperms, ovules remain enclosed within the ovary wall. This is also True that they form the seeds within the fruit because they have ovules within the ovary walls. C. Fucus, it's a diploid alga, brown alga and it exhibits oogamous reproduction. This is also true. So, by analyzing the option, we can say the correct option for the given question is option number 4. Let's move to the next question. Mm -hmm. 